In this tutorial, we will talk about the anti-aliasing settings in Chittabox. Chittabox's anti-aliasing feature allows you to reduce the spatial aliasing and make your model surface smoother. It works like the anti-aliasing for 2D images. When anti-aliasing is off, the pixels of the outer edges on each layer are fully white, which create jagged edges on curved lines. But when you turn on anti-aliasing, the software will turn down the whiteness of some pixels, so they form smoothly transition curves. And in actual printing, those gray pixels will become partially cured voxels and merge into the adjacent ones. This reduces the aliasing on your models and generates smoother surfaces. There are several settings for anti-aliasing. The first is anti-aliasing level. This decides how much you want to smooth the jagged edges. It's a setting that the old slice file formats, like CBDDLP, use. For the CTB files, we recommend using the two settings below anti-aliasing level, gray level, and image blur. Gray level controls how many gray pixels the software uses to reduce aliasing. If it is lower, you will see more gray pixels with more gradient put on the edges, and they are smoother. If higher, there will be less gray pixels, and the edges will be rougher. The image blur setting softens or blurs your edges, like feathering in Photoshop. If you enable this option, you will see a setting called image blur pixel appearing below. It allows you to set the blurring level. The higher the value, the more the edges are blurred. Finally, note that, enabling anti-aliasing can slow down slicing and saving, and make your file size larger. This is more so, if the model is more complicated. Besides, the effect of these anti-aliasing settings can be affected by the resin and printer you're using. And you can hardly find universal settings. So to know what works best for you, you need to test multiple times and experiment with various settings until you find the one that suits you best.